the purpose of, uh, of this video is to talk about rotational hitting and to try to simplify what, what it really means. When I think of rotational hitting, I think of three, three concepts. Playing the pitch, hips lead the hands, and hands stay inside the ball. Let's take a closer look at, at each one of these. When I talk about planing the pitch, this hitter here, the bat, is level to the ground, the bat swing level to the ground, and the ball's coming down. The blue area is possible contact. It's about eight inches. This hitter here is planing the pitch. The bat swing is in the same plane as the path of the ball. The blue area here is possible contact. This is about 14 to 22 inches. If you're swinging down on a ball going down, it's even less than this. Now, Ted Williams said many, many years ago that the best swing is a slight upswing, about three to five degrees, that matches the uh, path of the ball. Now, let's see some examples of this. Here's a hitter that's planing the pitch. You can clearly see the bat head below the hands, and you can see the path of the ball and the path of the bat at contact right here. He's planing the pitch. Also notice the shoulders are dipped. Front elbow is up, the back elbow is in. Here's another hitter. You can clearly see here at contact, right in this area here, here's the path of the ball and here's the bat. Let's back it up a little bit. And you can see that this hitter is planing the pitch. Now here's another hitter that's also planing the pitch. You can see the bat head below the hands, the back elbow is in, the front elbow is up, the shoulders are dipped, and you can see him planing the pitch. Now the second concept of rotational hitting uh, is that the hips must lead the hands. And in this picture here, you can see that this hitter's hips are popped but the upper body has stayed home. That separation is called torque angle. And that separation is responsible for what comes next in the swing, which is the rotation of the upper body. Let's take a look uh, at a live shot of this. This is a pretty good college player, one of the best in the world. Actually, a professional player now, one of the best in the world. And this hitter's hips clearly pop and you can see the separation between the bottom the bottom half and the top half that separation leads to the rotation of the body which delivers the bat to this position here where the hitter will launch with the hands now, some other pictures that demonstrate torque here's a picture of the bottom half of the hitter rotating around much before the top half hands are back but the bottom half is clearly rotating towards the pitcher. Okay, so we've talked about planing the pitch, we've talked about the hips leading the hands, and the third thing is that the hitter's hands must stay inside the ball. In order for a hitter to do that, two things have to happen. The hitter needs to keep the back elbow in at contact, and you can see here that this hitter is keeping his back elbow in close to the ribs at contact. And the second thing that needs to happen is that the hitter's hand path is circular. So from this position here, I think many youth players will take their hands and throw them out towards the pitcher. And if you watch this carefully, what you'll notice is that the hand path is circular. The hands work in conjunction with the upper body as the upper body rotates around the axis. So if a hitter is going to stay inside the ball, his hand path needs to be circular and his back elbow uh, is in near the ribs. So again, there's three components of rotational hitting. Planting the pitch, hips lead the hands, and hands stay inside the ball.